cruise vacations are a great value, as your cabin, most dining, onboard activities, and entertainment are usually all part of the cruise fare. Still, cruise lines offer a variety of add-ons that are extra, and honestly, most of them aren't worth the upcharge. So, to help you save money, we share with you the 10 things that are a complete waste of money on a cruise, up next. Hey everyone, DB here from Eat Sleep Cruise, and like most people, we hate overpaying for our cruise vacation. So over the years, we've learned multiple ways of saving money, and many of them have to do with passing on some of those upgrades that the cruise line tries to sell you pre-cruise or while you're on board. Now, of course, if you have some money saving tips, we'd love to hear from you. Make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Now for us, one of the biggest wastes of money on a cruise is priority boarding. Recently, cruise lines have started offering these packages pre-cruise. Among the different offerings are packages from Carnival Cruise Lines, like the Faster the Fun, or Royal Caribbean's The Key. While what's included in these different programs does vary, for the most part, purchasing priority boarding is a complete waste of money on a cruise. If you complete your check-in early enough, you'll be on the ship soon after this group is called. The same goes for disembarking at the ports of call. Often, the additional ports of these programs aren't worth the cost. Many of them come with inclusions such as a sit-down lunch or priority guest service lines, and honestly, those don't really add much value. So you can skip purchasing priority boarding as it's usually not necessary for most cruisers. Now, when on board, you'll see photographers everywhere you go, at the port, near the dining rooms, and especially around the promenade or atrium areas on cruise formal night. Now, yes, it's fun to take a few of these pictures, especially the formal ones, or to pose with a pirate at your port of call. But for the most part, purchasing these onboard pictures is not worth the money on your cruise. This especially goes for some of the pricier photo packages that cost hundreds of dollars a week. Now, while the cruise lines have finally caught on to selling digital images, these are often the same price as the printed photos, costing upwards of $20 per image. Certainly, this is a bit overpriced. Honestly, you're better off taking some selfies around the ship or asking someone, not the photographers of course, to snap a photo for you. Now, if you have loyalty status with the brand, you might get a photo for free or a discounted rate. But for most individuals who have to pay full price, purchasing the onboard photographs isn't really worth it. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions we receive has to do with cruise line drink packages. Often, cruisers want to know if these drink packages are a good value. Now, for many cruisers, the answer is probably no. For the most part, you need to consistently drink six to eight alcoholic beverages every day to break even. For many, this is quite a bit to drink. Now, if you don't drink fancy cocktails or martinis and you prefer things like beer or house wines, you need to consume even more beverages. If you tend to only enjoy a couple drinks at dinner or the show, then you'll actually save money if you choose not to purchase the drink package. If you do think you'll consume that many alcoholic beverages, as well as partake in other included drinks, such as soft drinks, bottled water, and specialty coffees, then maybe a drink package is right for you. Here on the channel, we have breakdowns of some of the most popular drink packages to help you decide if a drink package is right for you for your particular cruise line and sailing. Now, while we do of course like the convenience of drink package, with some of our analyses, we don't break even, especially on longer cruises. Thus, we actually would have saved money if we bought our drinks a la carte. Honestly, we actually can't believe the cruise lines still have art auctions on board. You'll receive flyers in your cabin, you might even accidentally step into a venue hosting an auction or one of those classes about art history or different art styles. No matter what you do, please skip these completely. Don't waste your time trying to get a free glass of champagne out of the deal. You might accidentally end up with some overpriced piece of art to display in your home. Even if you're an art expert, we suspect you'll find that these art auctions are not worth your time and certainly are not worth the cost. Cruises do include most of the onboard activities and entertainment during the trip, although one of the hidden costs of cruising is activities on shore. These are typically referred to as shore excursions. Most of the major cruise lines do not include any tours or shore excursions in the cruise fare. While some ports of call are perfect for exploring at your leisure, we do recommend that you book some shore excursions and tours during your cruise. However, we suspect you'll save money by opting to book outside of the cruise line. Oftentimes, similar if not better tours and experiences can be booked directly with the local tour companies or third-party vendors. Excursions like island tours, snorkeling trips, and off-roading adventures are all shore excursions that we've booked on our own. 
private tours not only tend to be cheaper, they also tend to be less crowded, and we often have better time on these particular tours than many of our crew-sponsored trips. Now, the ability to explore on your own or take private tours does depend on the region you're visiting as well as the ports of call. So do some research about your cruise ahead of time to find some of the more popular private tours or tour operators. Either way, we highly suggest you do some pre-cruise comparison shopping first before you decide to book your shore excursion with the cruise line. Trivia, game shows, dance classes, heck, even the belly flop contests. There are so many daytime and nighttime activities that are completely free on a cruise. So we recommend that you don't waste money on a cruise for those upcharge classes and seminars. Cooking demonstrations, wine tastings, mixology classes, and other four fee courses on a cruise are typically not worth the money to most cruisers. When reviewing the daily schedule on your cruise, always look to see if a certain event has a dollar sign next to it. If the advertised activity has such an indicator, this usually means there's an additional cost to attend that particular activity. We strongly suggest you save your money and find another activity to occupy your time instead. Now you also have to be careful because there might be things on the cruise planner that say they're free, such as port talks or shopping guides, but really these are also attempts to sell you stuff that you really don't need. Cruise ships still promote coupon books or other VIP booklets for shoppers promising to save you money or to get you premium access to some of the shops and retailers ashore. But let your common sense prevail in these situations and skip these talks altogether and definitely don't pay for any discounts. Now this one might be a little controversial, but most modern cruise ships offer a variety of restaurants and different dining options. A buffet of sorts featuring cuisine from around the world is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of your cruise. Many mega ships offer casual options that include sandwich shops, burger joints, pizza parlors, snack shacks, and other different complimentary snacks throughout the ship. Not to mention there's the main dining room. This venue offers three course dinners every night, the different menu, Often the main dining room is open for breakfast and usually on most cruise lines, it's open for lunch on sea days. So now with all these dining options, you don't have to spend money on specialty dining on a cruise. Now, many cruise lines will try to sell you on these upcharge venues. Often specialty dining might include steakhouses or seafood restaurant or other themed venues such as an Italian restaurant or a French bistro. While we've certainly tried some of these restaurants in our 35 plus cruises, we would suggest that infrequent cruisers stick with the complimentary options. The same advice here goes for those additional cost items on the main dining room menu. There is no need to upgrade your steak or to add a lobster tail to the main dining room. Remember, you can order as much as you want of the included menu options, so you can always order a couple of different items to sample. That way, you're sure to have plenty to eat and don't waste any extra money. Many people cruise to enjoy some rest and relaxation. While you might be tempted to visit the onboard spa for a treatment, we suggest you save your money and skip the massage. Many cruise lines charge above and beyond for those treatments, and they often include attempts to upsell you on products used during the treatment. If you must get a spa treatment, we suggest you do some pre-cruise investigation of your ports of call. We've heard from many individuals who get great deals on these treatments while ashore. Not to mention, some resorts and beach breaks offer massages by the ocean. Further, many cruise lines neglect to inform you that there's an extra 18 to 20% service charge on top of the treatment prices. Likewise, some ships now offer a thermal suite. Week-long passes for a couple can cost upwards of $400 for the entire week. Sometimes you can get a day pass, especially when docked at a port of call. Now, in our opinion, one day of rejuvenation at this reduced price is enough. Now, when it comes to shopping, we're all for getting a souvenir or two on a cruise. We always purchase either a ship ornament, and I like to get a t-shirt from the different cruise ships or unique destinations we visit. However, we strongly advise that you skip the duty-free shops on board. Oftentimes, there are no true savings on many of these items, such as alcohol, tobacco products, or jewelry and watches. Even items like sunscreen or other essentials should not be purchased on the ship if at all possible. If you've got to pack something, we suggest you wait for the first port of call if you can. Here, these items will be much cheaper to purchase. The same goes for those souvenirs. Oftentimes, you might be able to find something cheaper and more authentic at a port of call than on the cruise ship. Finally, you wanna save money? The best thing to do is stay out of the casino. Now in all fairness, it's easy for us to save money by avoiding the cruise ship casinos because neither of us are big gamblers. Now for those who are inclined to spend some money at the slot machines, make sure to check the payout schedules. Cruise ship casinos are not as well regulated as casinos on land. 
and odds are you'll find the casino slot machines are tighter than similar games you might play back at home. When it comes to the table games, payouts here might be different than they are on land, giving the house a greater advantage at the cruise ship casinos. For most cruisers, casinos at sea are just like those on land, an easy way to lose your money. So we suggest you invest those funds in something more fun, like a drink at the bar or perhaps another cruise. And there you have it. Those are the 10 things that are a complete waste of money on a cruise. But of course, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know your tips for saving money in the comment section below. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise. And if you enjoyed this video, we have other cruise tip videos right here on the channel to help you save money, help you plan for your next trip, as well as a ton of cruise reviews and ship tours, including cruise reviews from the latest cruise ships I've set sail this year from the US. If you're thinking of taking a cruise and don't know where to start, I suggest you check out our picks for the top 10 best cruise ships of 2021. If you have other questions or just want to say hi, you can reach out to us all over social media at Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time.